Patrick Cook here. Uh, welcome to session number eight of our Mastering Mandelbulb 3D Formulas tutorial series. Now, in the previous session, I was kind of demonstrating this whole idea of our bailout. And I was explaining that this R bailout pertains to the formula sequence or the set. All right. Let's uh, let's switch. Uh, let's turn our attention to this min and max iterations. Now, again, being down there at the bottom, the min and max iterations applies to the the formula sequence, the formula set. All right. So you'll notice here that. Uh, my graphic is forming okay with an R bailout of 16. If I put an R bailout of 32 in there, I don't really get much better of a graphic. And the reason for that is because these three uh, formulas, one, two, three, can all be completed within an R bailout of well, what did we have? 16? All right. And that's all that's necessary. Now, if I come along here and I say, look, uh, I want you to run uh, no more than 30 iterations of the whole set now, the sequence. Let's try 30. Punch it. Again my graphic was able to be produced well under 60 maximum iterations. Let's cut that in half and put 15 in. All right, we're getting a little bit difference now. You notice that. All right, now watch. I'm going to do 15. I'm going to put 30 back here and here. Watch the graphic. All right. Okay, there's a little color change there. All right, what this is telling me is that this uh, formula sequence, formulas one, two, and three, need uh, uh, somewhere on the order of 15 or 20 iterations to fully form on the screen, okay? Uh, let's get crazy and let's put that down to five iterations. I'm, what I'm telling, this is a formula conditioning now, and I'm telling it, look, don't run any more than five iterations of the sequence. All right, let's see what happens. Uh, you know, I'm starting to lose, uh, I'm starting to lose my Mandelbulb object here. That's uh, iteration of two. Calculate. Oh, hey. <laughs> All right. All right. So what I've done here is I have proven that the maximum number of iterations for the sequence is being limited to two, which means that the, the, the internal software can't run these three formulas uh, enough times to be able to get a decent uh, uh, display. Of course, that may be what you want creatively, and that's what you want. But it, but this shows you that the maximum number of iterations being set to two has limited the uh, calculations to the point where we're getting a, a kind of a bland, uh, uh, obviously not fully formed fractal. Let's put three in there, punch it. All right, eh, okay, better, okay. Now we get, let's get, uh, let's get four. Better. I get five. You see how the fractal is more fully forming according to the assigned formulas of the formula sequence. Now this goes to show you that the maximum number of iterations has an impact. Let's put that back to 60 and run it. However, the, 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 the Mandelbulb software does not need 60 iterations in order to fully form uh, that, the, that graphic. 
Uh, let's put a uh, max iterations of uh, 900. Punch it. We get the same thing. Because the number of iterations is maximum. That does not mean that's how many. You're not telling it, you're not forcing it to run 900 iterations. You're telling it don't run any more than 900 iterations, but give me the form, uh, give me the graphic with whatever iterations is required and then stop iterating the sequence. Okay. All right, let's get back down to 60 here. Now let's say, let's play around with this minimum iterations. Let's say um, I'm going to tell the software, I want you to run uh, at least 30 iterations of the sequence. Punch it. Uh, okay, now what I interpret there is that I ran it so many times that I just kind of blew it out. Well, let's kind of prove it. Let's cut that in half. All right, let's cut that in half. Let's see. Okay, let's well, something like that. Okay. All right. Now what I've what I've done here is I've told the software, look, I want you to run this at least seven times. And and I'm pretty sure what's going on here is that I'm overwriting the pixels over and over and over again, and I'm just blowing them out. All right. <clears throat> and I get to a point where there are no pixels on the screen. I don't see pixels, but what's happened is it's just blown them out. So uh, minimum iterations of seven proves that this will continue to do iterations up to seven in this case, or 10 or whatever I put in there. All right. And it, it won't do any, it won't do any less than that over on the maximum iterations. It won't do any more than it needs in order to get that graphic formed. And in all cases, when the R bailout is achieved, it will stop iterate, iterating. All right. Uh, now there's one little tidbit that I haven't talked to you, uh, told you about. All right, and that has to do with the hybrid mode, which is up here. All this time, I've been in alternate hybrid mode, which means that the Mandelbulb core software will behave like this. It will run formula number one write it to the screen. Formula number two, write it to the screen. Formula number three, and write it to the screen. I'm alternating. Formula one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right. Now, what happens up on the screen is that writing formula one to the screen puts something on the screen. And then you write on top of that formula number two, that's going to add pixels or even remove pixels. All right. Because if, if, if it says, look, write a pixel here and it happens to be a pixel already there, well, it's going to overwrite the pixel. If, if, if the second formula says don't write a pixel there, well, then that pixel disappears. So alternating uh, between these three formulas is actually writing formula uh, the graphic on the screen number one, number two, number three, and ultimately when everything is done, these pixels are either there uh, on the screen or not. All right. So that's what alternating means. All right. Now that's hybrid. That's the hybrid mode of alternate. I'm going to talk about that a little bit more as we, we go on. Okay, now, um, all right, tell you what, tell you what. All right, we're, we're, we're out of time on this session. Let's end this session and let's come back and let's see if we can get our whole head around this before we move ahead. All right. All right, anyway, all right, enough of that. I'll see you in the next session. I'll see you there.